Okay, in this video, I'm going to illustrate how to charge the chair. Now, it's important that this be done every evening. So, uh, that becomes a regular thing, just to charge the chair every evening. And over here, you can see the charging unit, and I'm going to show you how to use that. And there's a place on the chair down here, sort of below the joystick, which is where the cable goes in and I'll show you where that is in more detail, but it's down here right below the uh, screen on the joystick. Okay, so this is the charging unit. It's pretty simple. It has a cord that is plugged into the socket, and more than likely that will just stay plugged in. And then this cord goes over to the chair. And then here on the side are the levels of the, how much the... Uh, how much the chair has been charged. And I'll show you as I go through this process, we'll see how that works. Okay, the first step in this process is just to turn the chair off, just like this, push this control down, that turns the chair off. Okay, as you see on this cable, there are three, uh, three prongs. And on this receptacle here, there are three holes and you just plug this in, just make sure it's plugged in well. Okay, and so when I plugged uh, the chair in, it shows that it's on, and it shows that it's about 85% charged at this point. So there are different levels. Uh, it shows uh, uh, 30, 50, 70, 85, and 100% charged. Okay, so the chair has been off and it just stays off. And then once, once you look on the charging unit and it's, uh, uh, it's fully charged, you just unplug, unplug from here. Just unplug and set the cord over here to the side. So the chair has been off while it's been charged. And so now we're gonna power the chair back up. And you'll see these bars at the top of the screen, red, yellow, and green. And when it's fully charged, all of the green bars should be showing. And then as it's used throughout the day, these will be dropping. Um, it's usually pretty normal for that to happen. But if, if, if it ever gets down into the red zone, that's an indication that it needs to be charged and to not wait until it fully discharges. So just know that those red uh, bars are important to keep an eye on.